William Lind, author of The Practical Telephonist, described the single needle telegraph as merely a vertical galvanometer. And it is a galvanometer, and it uses one magnetic needle to visually communicate over a great distance. Because it has only one needle, we can call it a binary system. The needle can go only left and right. As a result, the single needle telegraph uses a code to communicate individual letters. Our telegraph here is using Morse code. So that we can understand, let's have a look at its history. In 1820, Hans Christian Ørsted, a Danish chemist and physicist, discovered that a magnetic field could be generated using electricity. In the same year, the galvanometer was invented by Johann Schuweger, a German physicist and chemist. And I apologize for my bad German pronunciation. The galvanometer lent itself to distant writing, and it wasn't long before it was being developed as a means of communication. The five-needle telegraph was developed by William Fothergill Cook and Charles Wheatstone in the 1830s for a recent innovation, the railway, that was even then spreading across Great Britain. This five-needle telegraph uses five galvanometers on a diamond grid pattern to spell out individual words by letter. Cook and Wheatstone later developed a double-needle telegraph for the railways in order to cut down on the number of electrical wires needed to make the telegraph work. This was superseded in 1843 by the single-needle telegraph using, you won't be surprised to hear, a single galvanometer to move a single needle. The system works using electromagnetism. A magnetized needle is placed in the center of a coil of wire. The coil is electrified with an electric current creating an electromagnetic field. The magnetized needle in this field reacts to it by reorientating itself at right angles to the wire. By arranging the coils and the needle in a particular manner, the needle is deflected to left or right according to the direction of the electrical current passing through the wire. In order to send any message using only one needle, some form of code had to be developed. This was the single needle alphabet code. Here though, instead of using the single needle alphabet code, we can see our telegraph using Morse code. Many single needle telegraphs have survived in museum collections to the present day. This one dates from 1844 and was developed for the general post office. As you can see, it uses a handle instead of a key. The single needle telegraph was superseded by a phalanx of new technologies, including the ABC telegraph, and it was eventually eclipsed by acoustic telegraphy.